Hello everyone and welcome to my first unboxing video. Today we will be doing the case of 12 Funko Mystery Minis, uh, the Harry Potter Series 3, the Hot Topic exclusive. So um, just so you know, I did buy these myself and they are unfortunately no longer available on the website where I purchased them. As well, just for my intro video, you may notice to the side here that I have also already uh, picked up a few singles. So we will be getting some doubles today, I am sure. And I'm also going to be popping these two um, as a bonus unboxing at the end of the video. So we've got the Funko Voldemort and the Funko 5 Star Hermione, which will be my first ever 5 Star. So I'm really interested to see how that one comes out of the box. Uh, so if that sounds like anything you're interested in, please uh, stick around and we'll get straight into the unwrapping. So this is what we got when we took it out of the box. We've got a little display here that will go into the notches at the back. And as you can see, we've got a full case of Series 3. So to eliminate the glare, I'm going to take the plastic off these and I'll be right back. And just to show you, this is a card I've made out of the back of one of the original boxes. So this is everything I've managed to pick up as singles. Um, as a bit of a collector, I like to keep one of the backs for writing on, and then I keep an, an intact box just to have. Okay, so we're going to get into the unboxing now. Okay, so you can already see we've got blur in the first one which is actually a triplicate for me because I doubled up in my singles okay, and we've got a Cedric with a Waco head so he is also a double. I'm just going to, it's hitting the light, so I don't know if you can see. It's a bit of glue dripping just there, and that is the one problem I have with Funkos sometimes is their attention to detail in their finishes, but that is just me being very OCD. We've got a Harry ooh, in his Quidditch outfit. Nice Potter there on the back, which is actually really well done. And I really like this one. So he got his just Potter and the full Hogwarts crest on his front. So that's a new one for me. Really happy with that. And just because I said I was happy, we'll get a second one. And we've got another Cedric. Mrs. Norris, which is actually a double for me again from the singles. And we have the first, another floor. And we've got Mr. Filch, which is good because I didn't have him. We've really got to have Filch and Norris together, so that's really good. Okay, and we've got Victor, again with a walk ahead. And he is a double again for me as well from the original series I collected. And we've got Draco in his suit, which is really cute, but I do have him as well. Okay, 
And this one is another Victor. And we've got a Harry, which I think is supposed to be the Dirty Harry. Um, or maybe it's just a, a different Harry. So that's good. I think that might be... Yep, we've got... Finally, box number 12, we got our first exclusive. So this is everything at a closer look. The bottom line is everything that was new to me today. And the top line is everything that we have doubled up on. Now I do realise I'm extremely lucky with my first purchase that I managed to get 8 out of 12, with I believe only 2 doubles in my first purchase. So may have been slightly spoilt by the, the Funko Gods on that one. I do wish that uh, being a Funko exclusive that for uh, 12 boxes I may have gotten at least one more exclusive. From what I have seen so far, I haven't researched all the ones because I didn't know what I had. Um, but I had, instead of chasing the one rare one that I had off the original pack, which is Dolores Umbridge, um, I believe it is going to be cheaper to buy it online as a single, rather than, again, playing the odds. So I'm just going to go through and give you a, a bit of a better look in the parts that I've noticed that I like a bit better. So with Draco, you'll see he's got a really nice matte coat and they've managed to put really high gloss on his little buttons on the backs of his sleeves and the one on his coat and a little bit high gloss on his shoes. So Mrs. Norris, I have a slight problem with her colouring. It's a bit mauve for my likings, but beyond that, I think she's actually quite cute. So Cedric, you can see he's got his little tails out at the bottom, little hood at the back, and he's a nice matte finish as well. So our Harry, who I believe is probably from the Dragon Challenge, he's got his nice potter on the back. The racing stripes are actually quite well detailed, cute little gloves and his Potter and Hogwarts crest on his pocket. Okay, and we've got Fleur. And for some reason her face to me seems a lot shinier than the rest. I don't know if that was trying to go for the Vela appeal or what they were doing, but she's got a cute little blue hair tie as well. And I really like the two-tone on her shoes. And for Victor, they've managed to give him a little bit of stubble. He's got a nice bow on the top of his head. Again, managed to get a bit of a shine on the buttons and also a touch of metallic on his buckle. And for Filch, we've got some gold for his keys here. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be wear marks. I think that might be supposed to be a stitching repair. Just running down his side here and a little bit of texture as well. If you look really closely, I think the buttons here are actually a different colour as well. So that's a nice attention to detail. And lastly, Harry. So not much to be said for the back of him. But he's got the cute Gryffindor crest on his cloak. I actually really like the colour of his outfit in this one. Do wonder a little bit though, he doesn't look incredibly grubby in this. Whereas when you see the picture on the box, he's actually got these soot marks all over his face. I'm assuming from the second movie when he comes through the flu. So maybe a slight lack in execution on that one, but again, a really cute mini pop. And that is it for our mini Funkos. We are moving on to the two big ones. Okay, so we're going to start with the Voldemort. Okay. 
So everything you would expect from Voldemort. The robes. I do wish they'd put maybe a bit of dirtying on his robes. Just because he was never it was never clean and pristine right the way to the bottom. But I do like that they've actually you've got the little detail around the wand. And you've got his pointy little fingernails on that side. And of course it's not Voldemort without a big bulbous head. So yeah, I think he'll go quite nicely with a couple of others I've got. And moving on to the Hermione five star figure. So what really sold me on these, you can see they come with some little bits and I'm a massive sucker for cute little things. So let's see how we get into her. Let's mother top open. I do like too when you're in the shops the, the window lets you see exactly what you're going to be getting so you can pick yourself if you like the details that come with her or not. And this one is very well strapped in so I'm just going to cut these and I'll be right back. Okay and I have popped Hermione out of her little case because the little lip just here has her extremely well held in as I just found out by popping her onto the floor. So like the other Funkos her head is articulated but I wouldn't go forcing it. I've got a bonus plastic and we've got some really nice freckles on her nose and sticking with the big hair and sort of very typical school robes but I feel like it's actually extremely well painted. They haven't gone massively outside of the tie line stripes are very clean. I do like there's that little detail of like the wrap around for her skirt and the socks pointing out the bottom. So for the extra little pieces we have the Wingardium Leviosa feather which actually has some gaps in the feathering so that's quite well made and you can't see a ridiculous amount of seam on that or anything. And then we've got Miney's wand which does have some nice little details just in the back there. It is a little bit bowy, but it is a slightly malleable sort of plastic. And then we've got Hogwarts History. And it's got a nice spine on it and the Hogwarts crest on the back. A little bit of damage from where it was held into the um, the packaging there, but it is actually a fairly impressive little book. Okay, so after a quick fiddle, you'll see that this is the only hand where she can hold things. The the curve's just not in the other hand. The feather does go in, but the base of it is so small it comes out extremely easily. Whereas the wand, if you put the handpiece, it actually clicks. Up inside her hand, so she'll actually hold on to that extremely well. So I would say the wand is for holding and the book and the feather are for countertop decoration. So one last look at today's haul. I'm extremely happy with everything I got and I hope my friends and family will act surprised when I send them some double ups later this year. One last thing I just wanted to point out that I missed before is that the grey around Voldemort's eyes is actually a metallic silver which I think is a very interesting touch and it adds a bit of dimension to his flat little face. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments about your favourite mystery mini collection Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.